guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Shiko and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back on today's video we will be doing a review of this ST Lauder double wear foundation this is in the shade sandalwood so this foundation goes for around 6,000 7,000 shillings and you know you just want to see if it's worth the coins if it performs or not and I'll be actually checking checking in with you guys after some hours so that we can see if there's oil production if it transferred and all that so yeah if you want to see how i achieved this look keep on watching subscribe to this channel if you haven't yes let's get started actually be doing a wear test because i'm leaving the house to go do makeup on a client and i'll probably have some more errands to do and come back later and i'll check up with you to see how it performed people say it's very good for oily skin and it doesn't transfer so i'm going to test out and i'm, I'm going to share with you in case you want a foundation that doesn't have much transfer because i don't think there's a foundation that completely doesn't transfer at the end of the day it's foundation it will move but i think the level of transfer with this one should be like almost unnoticeable unnoticeable so yeah let's just go straight into trying it i'm i'm confused that to use a matte primer or uh, illuminating primer but just so that we we won't uh, have to blame the primer in case i get oily let's just let's just use my maybelline primer this is the baby skin instant Poe eraser it doesn't mattify it doesn't mattify so it won't I won't be excessively dry but it's not oily either it's 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 a good for blurring primer so let's just apply that concentrating mostly on the t-zone my nose and now I can spread it this primer feels so good and smooth So, um, if you guys have noticed, I've been doing um, foundation reviews for more of those high-end foundations that are a bit pricey. So, I'll also do um, foundation reviews for affordable foundations, things like Maybelline, Revlon. So, definitely do look out for that. So subscribe if you haven't you can actually comment down below if there's a foundation you want to me to review and i'll definitely do the review also share your thoughts if you've used any of these foundations that i'm reviewing comment especially if you've used this st loader comment so that you can know you know you can just share your experience and let me know if you found it worth your money so um i'm going to apply the foundation with a brush flat brush And mine I got from the cosmetic overhaul shop. I've mentioned it in my previous videos. I'll still leave a link if you want because they sell these products at affordable prices. I mean, you can buy the same foundation for 7200. My cousin actually bought it at 7200. Um, I'm loving the coverage and the fact that it's giving me a beautiful smooth finish it's matching my skin really well it actually looks expensive on my skin let's say you're oily skin and you want a foundation that has coverage that isn't oily then it's gonna be matte but yet still give you a skin like finish a natural skin like finish I love Jenny, I love the finish. I love the finish. It is so skin like and smooth. Can you guys see? Let me just finish up by it all over my face so that it can show you closely. But it is very beautiful. 
I actually thought it was overrated, but it's not. It's not. I'll actually not highlight my face with concealer. I'm not going to use concealer so that we can give this foundation the ultimate test. You know, we won't mix it with other products. I'll just do a bit, very light powder on top because powder will make it transparent. In fact, if I could, I couldn't use powder to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't, what doesn't try see if it doesn't transfer i'll just like use my maybelline powder just one tap like that and that's what i'll use it all over my face yeah that's like a very tiny amount to just set it on now this way we'll be able to test the foundation completely I'm not even going to contour it will just be the foundation today yes so let me just do lipstick and for lipstick i'm using this maybelline superstay in the shades pirate dancer dancer and voyager to like have an ombre lip okay, i'm in such a hurry don't wanna make my client late Then I'll put dancer of the center part. This Maybelline Superstay lipsticks don't move. Yani, they don't transfer at all. Get yourself one of these. I'll, I'll actually do a swatch of the different shades that I have. Yes, yeah, so I'll outline my lips with concealer. I also add a bit of highlighter. Just a little tiny amount on my cheeks. Can you guys see that finish? It's so beautiful. So I'm going to set my face using this pretty color to be straight. So guys, that's how the foundation looks like. It's, it's such a beautiful finish, skin-like finish. It doesn't look exaggerated, but it has covered everything and it's a beautiful finish. Can I say it's worth the money? I'll determine that after I'm back home to see how it performed and if I had transfer or not. But it's a beautiful finish hey guys so i'm back home six hours later and i am still looking fresh um however i have a little oil production on my t-zone it's something that normally happens and today it's minimal like i normally produce a lot of oil substantial amount of oil on my t-zone i get oily but right now I, i'm still oily but not that much it's it's not something that I can't live with you get um yeah so the foundation is holding pretty well i am impressed by the way though um for 6k 7k seriously why it's pretty it's nice it's holding on well um but i think it should be like around 4000 bob 4k there as in i just feel like seven seven thousand shillings for foundation should give me magic like i shouldn't have oil it just should be magic and that's not the case um the transfer was minimal it's not like that crazy transfer and at the same time it's not like there wasn't any transfer at all yeah so with some foundations they transfer like crazy like you just greet someone you hug someone and it's you just slap them with some foundations but with this one it's very minimal transfer oil production is also minimal the shine is minimal that is yeah and it still looks nice it still looks nice so if 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 you don't mind investing in a quality expensive foundation you can definitely get it especially if you are on the oily skin side you can definitely get this foundation it's nice um yeah in future when i am rich 
I wouldn't mind buying, but for now, um, <laughs> no way. Also, um, with other foundations, I tend to really, my, my smile lines are very visible, like I crack around this area, and with this foundation, nothing. So this is like the biggest achievement. And also around this area, can you see it's it's not it's not cracking, it's not cracking. It's very nice. If I used a matte primer, I probably could have not been having this oil production on my cheeks. Because if you guys can see on my cheeks, uh, I've, I've not produced oil on my cheeks. It's just my cheeks, which is normal. So if you if you're going to use this foundation definitely and you're oily definitely use a matte primer it will really help but basically i love the foundation it looks pretty it looks amazing i'm not spending a whole six thousand seven thousand shillings again on a foundation for something i can almost get with my other foundations my drugstore foundations you know so but i would highly recommend it i would highly, if you don't mind spending your coins and you don't mind investing in such a quality foundation i would definitely recommend it especially if like you have a newborn a small baby that you're holding and you don't want like your foundation to keep transferring i would highly recommend it it's nice it's really nice so thank you so much for watching um let me know your comments your feedback what you think about this foundation have you tried it what are your thoughts and all that and also you can comment and suggest foundations that you want me to review and i'll definitely do a review for you yes so um i'll see you guys in the next one bye